If you like Charlie Hunnam, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. The effects of committing extreme violence on other human beings are biological and physiological. That's the price of being a warrior. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. He's gone. With the money. Your girl gave us up, Pope. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Triple Frontier is an action-adventure film directed by J.C. Chander and stars Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac, Charlie Hunnam, Garrett Hedlund, and Pedro Pascal. Led by an incredible cast of actors, breathtaking tension, and a perfect mixture of heist movie and drug cartel drama, Triple Frontier is the journey of military and bounty hunter friends who team up to steal the ultimate treasure waiting to be taken in the villa of a dangerous drug kingpin. But when the plan goes to hell, their friendship is put to the test like never before. Concentrate. Oh, we just getting rich. How much time we got? Eight, Eight minutes. minutes. Miller, enough of that over there. We gotta start getting this shit down to the van. Yo, oh, we got on. this. Number nine. Did you bring the copy of the information? Crimson Peak is a gothic romance film directed by Guillermo del Toro and stars Mia Wasikowski, Tom Hiddleston, Jessica Chastain, and Charlie Hunnam. In a world where monstrous creatures of the dark exist, the true demons are made out of flesh and blood. Having married a mysterious, handsome man, young Edith moves to her new home, a gritty and mysterious mansion that seems to be haunted by ghosts. Able to communicate with them, she embarks on a deadly mission to find the house's secret. It was enough to impede any further relationship between Sir Thomas and Miss Cushing. Prevent them from marrying. Why was that? Number eight. In the fights for England's glory, lads, the England soldiers of the Queen. The Lost City of Z is a biographical adventure drama film written and directed by James Gray and stars Charlie Hunnam, Robert Pattinson, Sienna Miller, and Tom Holland. This journey of self-discovery not only goes into the human psyche, but into the wild and dangerous Amazonian jungle. Obsessed with the existence of a secret civilization that once ruled over the forest, explorer Percy Fawcett leads an expedition into the heart of the wilderness in the hope of proving his work among scientists who mock him. Amigo! 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 Number 7. Ten digits. Round the blunt bit. Give it a tug. Left foot. Right foot. Collect your brand. Back on the barge. King Arthur, Legend of the Sword is an epic fantasy action-adventure film directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Charlie Hunnam, Jude Law, Astrid Burgess Frisbee, Jimon Honso, Aidan Gillen, and Eric Bana. This retelling of the classic and legendary story is redefined by the distinct style of its brilliant director. Raised as a nobody on the street, Arthur is unknowingly the true king of a country that is plagued by a ruthless dictator. But when destiny knocks on the door, he must find out about his true potential and power. Number 6 Okay, what? You don't like him? I thought you selected them personally. Excuse me? Pacific Rim is a science fiction monster film directed by Guillermo del Toro and stars Charlie Hunnam, Idris Elba, Rinko Kikuchi, Charlie Day, and Ron Perlman. Brought to life by its director's eye for stylish creatures that tell stories through design, Pacific Rim is the action experience that makes your heart beat faster. When the world is threatened by gigantic monsters that crawl out of the ocean, the response is as gigantic as the danger. Robot suits that are controlled by soldiers. Every time a match ends, you make this little gesture. Like you're critical of that performance. It's not their performance, it's yours. Number five. I give you my gun, you're gonna shoot me dead. I will not shoot you, but nor am I going down this mountain looking over my shoulder for you. That's what they call a conundrum. Cold Mountain is a 2003 epic war film written and directed by Anthony Mangella and stars Jude Law, Nicole Kidman, Charlie Hunnam, Renee Zellweger, and Natalie Portman. 
When a Confederate Civil War soldier is seriously wounded in battle before being able to finally reach his home and beloved, he must go on a life-threatening journey to finally return to her. Meanwhile, his beloved Ada is struggling harder and harder to hold on to their farm as she desperately needs her man to finally return from his mission. Tell you what I got on my side. What you got on your side? The confidence of youth. Number four. But I'm gonna show you what you have never shown any boy in this room. Pity. Written and directed by Douglas McGrath, Nicholas Nickleby is a period comedy drama released in 2002. The film is based on Charles Dickens' serial novel, The Life and Adventures of Nicholas Nickleby. Charles Hunnam stars in the lead role alongside Jamie Bell, Christopher Plummer, and Anne Hathaway. Promoting the idea that every family needs a hero, the movie narrates the tale of a compassionate young man who tries to save his family and friends from the brutal claws of an exploitive uncle. My curse upon you. My bitter, deadly curse upon you, boy. Your curse has no power over me. The structures you raised all through your misspent life are crumbling into dust. Number three. Got the wrong guy, pal. I was with her all night. Come on, let's go. Right, let me get dressed. No, 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 no. no. We got some stripes at the station for you, pretty boy. Papillon is a biographical drama film directed by Michael Knorr and stars Charlie Hunnam and Rami Malek. The impossible must be overcome for freedom in this breathtaking roller coaster of a film. Imprisoned on so-called Devil's Island for a murder he didn't commit, professional underground safecracker Papillon plans the greatest prison escape ever. He is supported by a convicted counterfeiter who finances the fun, and the two must go to the max to survive their powerful enemy. He was with me! Annette, relax! They got nothing. Nobody believes on her. Annette! Get back in Honestly, your room. I'll be back in no time. Number two. So what is that? Is that a barbecue as well? Yes, it is, Fletcher. I love a Barbie. The Gentleman is an action comedy crime film written and directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Henry Golding, Michelle Dockery, Colin Farrell, and Hugh Grant. The story follows Mickey Pearson, who has done very well financially with his highly profitable cannabis empire. He is now looking into cashing in his business, which he has come to value at nearly $400 million, and tries to sell it off to a dynasty of Oklahoma billionaires. Is there any chance of a stake? Yeah, all right. Got a bit of Wagyu in the freezer as it happens. Oh, I never had Wagyu. Yeah, well, it'll be wasted on you, but it's all I've got. I'll get it, mate. Oh, no. You're all right. Just stay right there. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I just need there to be a level of trust between us. That's all. I gotta use the bathroom. Again? I'm sorry. Is that in violation of your spectacular balls? Jay, what are you grateful for? It's none of your business. No, you're missing the point, Jay. Well, I'm not gonna give you anything. Jay, it's your turn. Edison, please stop. These people haven't done anything to you. That's the problem. Like, I could never fly a jet into a building, but those 9-11 guys could because they had faith in an afterlife. Not to mention 72 virgins, though. Why anyone would want virgins, I don't know. Number one. Just stand your ground and fight. Fight? I don't know how to fight. Just fight for someone you hate. Come on, man. Green Street Hooligans is a drama film directed by Lexi Alexander and stars Elijah Wood and Charlie Hunnam. Inspired by the legendary Fight Club, this exploration of football's way different, dark, and violent side showcases brutal wars between opposing football fans fighting each other before and after the games of their beloved teams. We follow young Matt, who is new in London, and gets drawn into this horrifying world, right into its most dangerous conflicts. Fuck it. I will take you with me. You might learn something. About soccer? Nah, mate. Not about soccer. And for fuck's sake, stop saying soccer! Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description.
And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.